yes good morning guys uh this is samia diago i want to quickly show you something on gold mm, this is gold look at the price chart of gold now we could see that price has been moving from here okay the in the intraday level price has actually moved from this level here okay in what looks like a trend move intraday trend move to this level and after this move we see this consolidation look at this consolidation Mm -hmm. and the price is trying to break below here so what do you think if price breaks below here don't you think price will continue moving down because usually when we have a trend move then a consolidation price usually moves in a bank okay and it usually covers the same length as this or maybe 61.8 percent of this move it does not usually go less than that 61.8 percent but most of the time you get it to around that 100 percent the length from ear to ear okay you could see price covering that length from here uh, to maybe around there as well so what does Elliott wave say if we want to see this in the light of the Elliott wave uh, what can we see from from that okay that sometimes ago we discussed this ending diagonal so this is with three with four and we saw this diagonal so we predicted that or we forecasted that price is going to be moving up in uh in, in in the recent time okay I mean some months to come we're st still going to see the price of good moving up because this is actually the end of a motive wave or uh, the end of a motive wave an impulse wave so we're actually going to be expecting an abc correction we could actually come to around uh, uh to break above a uh, 1500 level 1500 dollars okay now the break out of here which we traded well with our final target here yeah, tp4 but we've already uh, exited this this trade okay long ago so this move here what can you say about this what can we say about it the reaction of price to this ending diagonal was very fast just as usual as a typical uh, way price react to ending diagonal patterns it used to be very fast and now what can we see from here okay we are actually expecting a deep a further deep uh, before we we're expecting that the major dip will start from here but the way we see it now from our account we discover that price has actually completed a five wave impulse wave then we are expecting a correction so a correction usually gets to like 61.8 percent of the previous move if we take from here to here this level is around the 61.8 percent okay and now we're expecting price to get here in what will look like a zigzag pattern if you look at this b the second leg of this uh, expected zigzag it's uh it's um it's uh, the triangle that we are looking at at the moment okay so this was when price was around one two zero eight price has moved here and then it's uh it's like it's crossing down okay it's crossing down so we want to take advantage of this we want to take advantage of this expected move okay so if price should break below here normally if price should break below here then we should be expecting price to move down okay and uh, the move would be or should be as long as this so we're going to be in for a very long time so the stop loss can be here if price breaks below here Okay, below here you can sell here the stop loss here then the target will be as long as this or 61.8 percent of this okay now let's go back to the chart now this is the chart already almost completing uh, the move and now we are just looking at it and see how we will pounce on this and now we can take advantage of this this is this move here and then this move here and we can use our um if we use our fibonacci tool we could be able to um see how long the movement is expected to be okay so this is a very nice pattern okay, so we're going to sell as price breaks below here the stop loss here okay or oh, somebody else may put up a wall like our stop loss to be at the top of the triangle this place will have shown that the triangle has been broken convincingly and they will be having our target uh, around here okay so let's use the fibonacci uh to to see the exact level okay so the exact level should be around here around 1174 
okay that's going to be something around um if it's taken from here yeah. about 282 pips by risking uh, 175 pips or the other one is about uh, 565 pips or around 500 pips why the risk is around 180 so that's the kind of trend we always like to trade so we'll be waiting for price to break below here once this level is broken okay then we'll be looking to short code I will get to send a trading signal across. All right. Thank you very much. This is Samia Diago. I wish you a very wonderful trading day. Bye.